Well, the, the narrative of uh, Jekyll and Hyde is it's pretty straightforward. It's Robert Louis Stevenson writing about uh, what's innate in, innate in all of us. There's an equal good and evil. And he was trying to bring that out in his novel. But while doing this, it's become autobiographical in many ways, is that he was fighting his own demons, Robert Louis Stevenson. He was a sickly child, consumption, pneumonia, and everything Everything was wrong. With him. So he had nightmares as, as, as Stevenson as a child, and he was constantly on drugs to help him in you know his condition. So it's told through his eyes. He's writing the book as as the audience sees it happen in front of you know their eyes and his eyes. So in, in essence, what you see on on the stage is Robert Louis Stevenson writing the novel, and it's just being formed around him into the audience and in his eyes. So it's it's kind of exciting. What's happening in our culture with fentanyl and what's happening, it's really ruining people, ruining their minds and everything. And, you know, all the opiates have been prescribed to people for, you know, that shouldn't have been. And people are addicted now and it alters your mind. And you are not the same person. You watch, see it on the street. You see that. And it, to me, it's just, it really is a parallel. The, the, the ballet's happening at the right time in many ways or the wrong time because it's just, it's, it's not great what's happening in the world right now, with, but that's exactly the seed of the, the, the book that Robert Louis Stevenson wrote. He wrote it when he was in bed six days and six nights while he was on the opiate. He was in bed, his mind was in a different way, and he wrote it, the whole thing in that time period, very short time period, and it's a masterpiece, but his mind was altered when he did it.